morning, boys and girls. Let's listen to a story. What do you say? The name of this book is The Dinosaur Who Lived in My Backyard. Look at that dinosaur by the swing set. Boys and girls, this book was written by B.G. Hennessy, and the pictures were by Susan Davis. The Dinosaur Who Lived in My Backyard. Hmm. Do you think that there's really a dinosaur that lives in this backyard? Do you think it's real? Or do you think it might be a make-believe story? Well, let's open it up and see. And while we're reading, I want you to be asking yourself, is this real or is it make-believe? Think about the things that you already know about dinosaurs and think to yourself, is this true? Is it imaginary? What if I had a dinosaur in my backyard? I hope you enjoy it. The Dinosaur Who Lived in My Backyard. There used to be a dinosaur who lived in my backyard. Sometimes I wish he still lived here. The dinosaur who lived here hatched from an egg that was as big as a basketball. By the time he was five, he was as big as our cat. You're having a birthday party. Wow, look at those footprints. And their sandbox. Just one of his dinosaur feet was so big, it wouldn't even have fit in my sandbox. My mother says that if you eat all your vegetables, you'll grow very strong. That must be true because that's all this dinosaur ate. I bet he ate a hundred pounds of vegetables every day. That's a whole bunch of lima beans. There's him and his sister eating their vegetables. <coughs> this dinosaur was so heavy that he would have made my whole neighborhood shake like pudding. If he jumped, he weighed as much as 20 pickup trucks. He was a really big dinosaur. Look at all the children are falling off their bikes. They're shaking like pudding. They're shaking because when he makes his footsteps, it's so big. The dinosaur who lived in my backyard was bigger than my school bus, even bigger than my house. He had many other dinosaur friends. I see a triceratops. This might be a T-Rex. Sometimes they played hide and seek. Now that looks like dinosaur times, doesn't it, boys and girls? This right here looks like where dinosaurs really did live. But some of these pictures back here of him in the neighborhood are a little different. Sometimes they had terrible fights. Now that's a T-Rex, isn't it? That's a meat eater. The dinosaur who used to live here was allowed to sleep outside every night. It's a good thing he didn't need a tent. He was so big, he would have needed a circus tent to keep him covered. Look, and there's the children. Do people need a tent when they sleep outside? Back when my dinosaur lived here, my town was a big swamp. The dinosaur needed a lot of water. If he still lived here, we'd have to keep the sprinkler on all the time. My dinosaur had a very long neck so he could eat the leaves at the top of trees. If he still lived here, I bet he could rescue my kite. His kite got stuck in that tree. 
That's all I know about the dinosaur who used to live in my backyard. He hasn't been around for a very long time. Sometimes I wish he still lived here. See the dinosaurs up in the sky, boys and girls? He's remembering them. He's thinking about the time long ago in the past when dinosaurs did live on our planet. So boys and girls, this book has pictures of things like the dinosaur in town that didn't really happen like this, but the little boy is remembering what their town was like before it became a town, before there were any houses, before there were any roads, a long, long time ago, go, dinosaurs did roam the earth. Now things are different, aren't they, boys and girls? And we don't have dinosaurs on our planet anymore. So he's remembering a time, and he was pretending about it, what they might look like if they did still live here. But this book has facts, which are true information about dinosaurs, and then it shows pictures, make-believe pictures of what it would be like if they really lived here. Let's see what the ending says. It would be pretty hard to keep a dinosaur happy, but my sister and I are saving all our lima beans, just in case. They've got wagon and uh, buckets full of lima beans for their dinosaur. So boys and girls, where he lives is a part of the world where dinosaurs really did used to live. He said his neighborhood used to be a swamp. Before there were houses and everything, it was covered with water. And that's like a lot of places, even just right here in Texas, and probably very close to Maple, dinosaurs used to live there too. That's like a big before and after like we've been talking about. Before our houses were here and the roads and the school, other people were here. Before there were cars and roads and trucks and trains, there were other things that were happening all around us. All right, boys and girls, so that book is cool because it has some make-believe pictures that we can pretend what it would be like if dinosaurs were here, but it was also true because it told real facts about dinosaurs, that they ate vegetables and leaves, that they had long necks, that that one was heavy and bigger than his school bus. So it was a neat book that kind of mixed both real and make-believe. I hope you enjoyed it. Come on back. I've got another one for us.